back to my channel. My name is Monica Alexandra. Today I'm going to be doing another haul. I don't know why my hands are in the air. I haven't filmed in a long time and I'm a little bit confused <laughs> on how I start these videos. Also, I just, this is the first time that ever that I'm put up a monitor and the monitor's on this side so that's why I look this way and it's kind of confusing because I'm used to like looking here up, like up and now I'm looking sideways but I'm gonna try my best to do this today's video is gonna be a clothing haul from Sheen so the last one that I did you guys really liked it was um, from Shopo and it was plus size today we're doing plus size Shein so Shein is like super popular on Instagram super popular amongst influencers I had never bought anything from Shein so this is my first time and a lot of people are, you're gonna be like oh during coronavirus and it's based in China but you know what um, I waited a week so I got the the so I got my package and then I waited a week for to open actually my package and I already washed them so I'm gonna show you guys what it all looks like yeah. so each item comes individually wrapped in its own like little bag as you can see it says sheen right there and it says it on both sides so I really like that there's like these Ziploc bags that all of them come in because it makes it I don't know I just like that everything is separated like that it makes it a lot nice so I did buy um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these things. I was very skeptical to order because I was like, I, I saw reviews that uh, they don't get here on time. Some people never receive their packages. Some people, their packages get lost. Some people, it takes them like two months for their packages to get there. So I was very skeptical about it. So I wanted to um, try it out and see for myself if it's worth it or not. I did end up ordering everything in a 1XL. Um, in US sizes, I am like a size 14. Um, yeah, like a size 14, sometimes 12, could be 16 if things run smaller, but usually I'm a size 14 spot on and or extra large. If it's just like the small to extra large sizing, then I'm an extra large or a size 14. So I did order everything in a size 1XL. So this is the first item that I got. I'm just gonna back up here so you guys can see it. This is the first item that I got. It's just this plain uh, t-shirt. Um, it is a 1XL and I would think it's pretty good if you like more of a loose um, fitting then this is pretty good if you like a tighter I could have gone with the 0XL and it probably would have fit like this but I I was like very scared to get the 0XL because my sizing um, based on the measurements fell in between like a 0XL and a 1XL so I went with the 1XL just to be on the safe side so like I said it is a little loose definitely um, has a lot of space and this I got two basic tees this is one of the basic tees and then I got a couple other dressy tees this one just says here a little closer so you guys can get a better look at it but it just says blast and it has this little heart here I've already worn this one time I did already wear this and I mean it's just plain it's just a plain it's a the green color I've never worn like this kind of green in the top but I mean it's just it's pretty nice I say it's a little loose fitting I got this because right now that we're in quarantine I mean this is basically all wearing like jeans and a t-shirt every day so I really like this it's pretty cute and the quality I would say it's thin but it's not like super super thin like it's it's a little bit on the thin side but it's not that bad I really like this next top is another one of those basics this one fits a little bit tighter than that green one that I first showed you guys as you can see it's not as loose um, also, this material is a lot thicker than um, the other one. The other one's more like a loose. This one's more, it's like sturdier. It's, it's not a bad material. It's also really soft still like the other one, but it's just thinner. Like you can tell that it's thinner. So this one just says, thou shalt not try me 24-7. Like I said, I got these for lounging around during this quarantine time, but I really like this shirt. Um, and I put the price right here. I don't remember exactly the price, but it was really cheap. And I just thought they were cute for like lounging around the house. And these are the only two basic tops that I got. So, yeah, that's that. Not much to say about this. But the one, I would definitely stick with the 1XL in this one. The other one I could have gone with a 0XL. I feel like a 0XL in this one would have been a little bit too tight. Because this one's already more of the, the fit that I like in my t-shirts. I'm not the type of girl who likes, like, super tight. And I think when you have a big belly, like no, like no girl who has a big belly wants like stuff that's super tight on the belly area. This is a peplum shirt. I really, really like peplum shirts because of my type of body since I am heavy here. I have a huge stomach. I know some girls are big breasted, um, like girls who are plus size, a lot of plus size girls are like 
big breasted. I am not big breasted at all. I just have a big stomach. So um, I really like this because it, it doesn't it hides my stomach really well. I really like Kaplum tops because I feel like they make my they're very flattering for girls who have big stomachs. Um, so this is a 1XL as I said and it's just a black peplum top and I really like this the material is very like I don't know how to say like forever 21 material what's I guess spandex it feels like spandex like what spandex leggings are made of that's what it kind of feels like so I really like it um, this material because of that spandex material this material is more on the tight side so this shirt if I would have gotten a 0XL this shirt definitely would not have fit me so I'll just show you guys with the fact the only thing I don't like about this shirt and that's not anything to do with Shein it's just these shirts in general is that it has this little like um, button thing and my hair always gets stuck in that and I feel like every girl can relate to that if you've ever had like a little button shirt and like the your hair gets stuck to it so um, yeah, this was definitely a smaller um, size than most than all the other ones. This is definitely the smallest fitting shirt. This is a 1XL. I could have gone with a 2XL on this. But um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think it's not bad. This shirt ain't it, guys. This is one of the things that I'm going to return. And there is free return, so I don't mind returning it. But this shirt... It's just a little bit too on the big side. Again, this is a 1XL and this is a peplum top and it's just um, polka dotted. Uh, but it's just, it's just not it guys. It's, it's a little bit too big. I could have definitely gone with the 0XL on this. And maybe it's just the type of shirt too. It's a baby doll shirt. And I know baby doll shirts are supposed to like be this flowy. But I'm just not here for this like pregnant uh, expecting mother look right now because I... I'm not expecting and I already have a big stomach so I don't need to accentuate the fact that I have a big stomach even more with this type of material. I did really like it. It's really cute. It really makes me look just bigger and it's not anything against the shirt itself. I just think that this is just not for my type of body. Like it's just, I just look super pregnant. I just look super bigger than I am and it is really cute look at that it's so cute from the back like if it didn't make me look so big from the front like if it was like this <laughs> and I would love this so much because I really do like the back it's super cute it's like peplum this material it's very thin and I would say it's sheer let me get up close so you guys can kind of see look at that it's yeah definitely you could see through this a hundred percent so it is very sheer it's something that you would have to wear with like a black bra if not you could probably see your bra i am wearing a a dark or color bra so you can't really see it but it is on the see-through side so this one unfortunately is a no-go for me this next item i'm not gonna do a try on um just because it has a white collar and i'm gonna return this it was a no-go on this shirt um it looks like this as you can see, I'm very into black, guys. Um, I'm very into collars. Like, if you know me personally, um, you know that everything that has Peter Pan collars on it, why doesn't this stay? Everything that has Peter Pan collars on it, anything that looks like something that Adam's family would wear, I really like. Um, but I don't want to dirty this collar because it is white and I am returning this and I don't want to have to, like, get makeup. I don't want to get makeup on it and then not be able to return it or have to do some, like, magic sorcery to get the stain out so that i'm able to return it girl because i've been there before and um the oh i this is the only product that i got in a zero xl and it did fit me the zero xl did fit me that wasn't the problem the problem was the collar itself so let me get in here close to you guys look at this this collar is looks like it's so cheap like look at it's even coming undone at the seams like it's look at that and it's just so like it's just cheap it looks cheap I can't wear this like it looks like a costume or something like it's just not cute at all and it looks very cheap and I refuse to wear something that looks so cheap so sadly like this top it fit me and everything it was good and I wish I could try it on for you guys so you guys could see what it looks like but I just don't want to risk to ruin it the thread is even coming undone in various places like here in the back I don't know if you guys can see it right there and then here in the front right there and just at various places it's just the thread is coming undone so it's just no it's a no for me sadly because i really like shirts with peter pine collars but this one from shein is not it and i'm gonna try to order more stuff from shein that has peter pine collars to see if that's like a thing 
um, that always happens with the colors. They're just cheap looking, but for me, it's a no-go. So now moving on to dresses. So this dress, um, it's very tight and it is a bodycon dress so it has nothing to do with sizing i guess if you wanted a more loose fit you would have to size up in this but for me the 1xl is fine and i'm not used to wearing this kind of dress because since i gained weight i just feel like i look pregnant i just don't like this look here and it's something that i would have to wear like one of those body suits that encompasses like my back and like one of those body suits that's like one piece like from here to like down here because of this bulge and that's just that's just me that's just my body type it has nothing to do with the dress this dress i bought it specifically for date nights with my husband like for like our date nights so i think it's really cute i think for my personal comfort i would want to size up and probably um if you like more of a loose fit then definitely size up i could have gone with the 2xl on this definitely not the 0xl the 0xl would have been way too small but I think it's really cute and um, I really like the sleeves because they're like kind of like polka dots and it's really good. I mean, it's a little bit big. Look, the sleeves are a little bit big, but I think they're supposed to be like that. They're supposed to be like, um, I think they're called balloon sleeves. So it's really cute. A little bit big on this. I mean, you could definitely take it in if you wanted to, like take it to a tailor and get it tailored in, which I probably will because look at that. They are very big. But the dress itself it's tight so i feel like the bigger you go the bigger the sleeves will be so just definitely take that into consideration but the material is good i like that it's scrunched because that helps also with my body type it helps me not look so big so i just really think it's a really nice dress like it's i can't wait to be able to go out and actually wear this on a date night with my husband and yeah that's exactly what i bought it for it is more of a sexy dress so um, yeah, and definitely I'm not wearing the right bra for you guys what it looks like from the back. I hate that my back looks like that, but this is what it looks like from the back. And yeah, this is the dress. This is the final product. So this dress was a little bit disappointing. It was very beautiful in the picture, and I'll put the picture here so you guys can see what it was supposed to look like. And it just didn't live up to the picture. Um, so let me show you first of all the sleeves. The sleeves were... They're like all this detail. It's very detailed and everything. Oh, it's catching this one. So let me show you this one. But it has these like little pom-poms, which I don't really like because it looks kind of cheap looking. And also they're so scratchy. The other dress, that's something I didn't say about the other one. The other dresses, these were not scratchy at all. And just maybe Shein, Shein dresses um, are just big in the sleeves. But look at this. This is huge. This is so big. It's way bigger than the other one. The other one... Like, I can say I want that, like, I can deal with it, but this one, and look, it's just long in general, look. Like, my fingers barely come out, and I'm, like, stretching my arms as much as possible. Look at that! It's so bad. So this is a 1XL as well, and maybe, maybe I could deal with it, but it's just too big. I definitely could have gone with the 0XL on this one. Um, and I think maybe it would have been a little bit better, but I don't know about this. I don't know if this would have been better in the 0 with the thread, the loose thread or whatever you want to call it. It just looks so cheap. Like it looks like something I could have made in elementary school, like a project. And they itch, they itch so bad. Oh, can you see, can you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? This, what is this? Somebody really messed up this dress. Someone messed up this dress, okay? And it wasn't me, it was like this already. It's too big. The body itself is not that big, but I could have gone with a 0XL, but I don't think a 0XL would have fixed this hot mess of a dress. It's just, it's not it. So that's everything for this haul. I just bought seven things, and out of the seven things, I'm keeping four, returning three. So that's about a, um, it's not that, it was not that bad, honestly, guys. It was not that bad. It's just, one, uh, some of the things are a little bit cheap, but I mean the price is super cheap. I think I spent like $80 on seven items. So what does that bring the total to? Like a little over, a little less than $10 an item overall. So I think that that's a really good uh, price. I think it was like $80. Let me check for you guys to make sure. I'll put it right here however much. It took about two weeks to get here from when I ordered it. So I don't know if it's just luck. 
um, that some people get their items and other people have problems with shipping. However, I did not have any problems with shipping. They sent my, I, I, I ordered them and two weeks later they were here. And that's even during all this coronavirus stuff. And during coronavirus, uh, shipping has been a lot slower. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been ordering a lot of stuff off Amazon and off other websites and everything has gotten here way slower like amazon doesn't have two-day shipping right now so i think they still got it to me within two weeks i think that's a really good shipping turnaround so i had no problems with shipping um but yeah some of these items they're not that great some of these items like i showed you guys like that dress and the collar shirt they just like cheaply made they're not well made and i mean can you ex how high quality can you expect from like a ten dollar dress so uh i would say yeah if you want definitely go check it out um i didn't get scammed some people are afraid that it's a scam i was not scammed they sent me my stuff i got it and i got it on time so um overall it was a good experience and i hope you guys like this video and please let me know of any other stores that you guys would want me to check out or anything and i will see you in the next one bye guys